Guns have been a part of human history for centuries and have played a crucial role in shaping our world as we know it. But not all guns are created equal. Some are rare, some are unique, and some are simply priceless. In this video, we'll take a look at the most expensive guns in history, from the Simon Bolivar pistols, to the Danish Sea Captain Colt Walker, to the Lafayette Washington Jackson pistols, and finally, the Pat Garrett's Colt Single Action Army used to kill Billy the Kid. These guns have stories to tell, and their prices will leave you in disbelief. So get ready to discover the world of expensive guns and the tales behind them. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. The presentation Colt 1849 revolver is a type of cap and ball revolver that was created during the mid-19th century. This revolver was designed for the discerning individual who desired not only a functional weapon, but also a visually stunning piece of art. These revolvers were heavily embellished with deep relief engraving and gold inlay, making them not only a symbol of power and prestige, but also a true work of art. The Model 1849 was one of six presentation guns that were made in this style, each of which was given as a gift to a prominent political figure. One of these guns was gifted to Russia's Tsar Nicholas I, while others were given to the kings of Sweden and Denmark. These presentation guns were considered so impressive and visually stunning that four of them are now held in museum collections, showcasing their historical and cultural significance. This particular presentation Colt 1849 revolver is considered to be one of the most valuable examples of its kind. In 2012, it was sold at Sotheby's auction house for an astonishing $1.14 million, solidifying its place as one of the most sought-after and highly prized collectible firearms. The Millikan Colt Dragoon revolver is a highly prized and sought-after piece of firearms history. This third model Dragoon cap and ball revolver was expertly engraved by master engraver Gustav Young and falls within the serial number range of special presentation guns given out by the Colt factory during the 19th century. The intricate and delicate engraving on this revolver is a testament to the skill and artistry of its creator. The Millikan revolver was originally owned by Colonel John Millikan, a military figure who was killed during the American Civil War. After his death, the revolver was passed down to his son Paul, who also served as a colonel in both the Spanish-American War and World War I. Paul's name and rank are engraved on the backstrap of the revolver, making it a unique and personal artifact of military history. In 2019, the Millican Colt Dragoon revolver was sold at auction by Rock Island Auction Company for a staggering $1.66 million. This sale solidified the revolver's place as one of the most valuable and sought-after collectible firearms. The Millican Colt Dragoon revolver is a true work of art and a symbol of the power and prestige of those who once wielded it. It represents a bygone era of craftsmanship and elegance, and is a testament to the skill and artistry of the engraver who created it. Whether viewed as a piece of history or as a work of art, the Millican Colt Dragoon revolver is a truly remarkable and highly prized artifact of firearms history. The Simon Bolivar pistols are a remarkable pair of flintlock pistols that have a rich and fascinating history. These pistols were made by the legendary gunsmith, Nicolas Enoel Boutet, who was the personal gunsmith to Napoleon Bonaparte. Boutet was renowned for his exceptional skill and talent in the field of gunmaking, and is considered one of the finest gunmakers to have ever lived. These Simon Bolivar pistols are not just ordinary firearms, but rather works of art. They are adorned with intricate carving, gilding, engraving, and precious metal inlay, which showcases the exceptional talent of Boutet. These pistols are considered to be two of the finest examples of Bout's work and are a symbol of the golden age of gunmaking. In 2016, the Simon Bolivar pistols were sold at a Christie's auction for $1.8 million, so since then, they have been in a private collection and are not often seen by the public. These pistols are an important piece of history and serve as a reminder of Simon Bolivar's efforts to liberate South America. They are a testament to the strength of the friendship between Bolivar and Lafayette and are Yo, a symbol of the Grenoble exceptional Walmart. talent of Nicolas Enoel Boutet. These pistols will forever be a part of the rich cultural heritage of South America and the world. very deliberate allusions to mythology, to very powerful the Danish sea captain Colt Walker is a rare and highly sought-after firearm, not only for its historical significance, 
but also for its unique features and impeccable condition. With only 100 of these civilian Colt Walkers made, it's a remarkable feat that this particular revolver still exists today. What sets this revolver apart from the others is its impressive state of preservation. It remains in its original packaging and is considered to be in new condition. This is a true rarity, as many guns from this time period have suffered from wear and tear or have been modified over the years. In addition to its pristine condition, the Danish Sea Captain Colt also comes with a piece of history that is invaluable to collectors. The original documentation, including notes in Sam Colt's own handwriting, adds to the allure and significance of this revolver. It's truly one of a kind. The nickname Danish Sea Captain is a nod to the revolver's origins, which can be traced back to 1847, when it was purchased by a Danish sea captain named Niels Hansen during a visit to New York City. The revolver remained in Denmark for over a century, surviving the Nazi occupation by being buried in a garden. After the war, it was sold back to the United States and has since changed hands several times. In 2018, the Danish sea captain Colt Walker was sold at a Rock Island auction company sale for a staggering $1.84 million. Today, the revolver is in the hands the of a private collector, adding to its mystery and allure as a truly that's, unique that's a and valuable piece of history. Lafayette Washington Jackson Pistols This pair of pistols has a rich history that dates back to the American Revolution. The pistols were made by Jacob Wallster in France and were presented to George Washington by the Marquis de Lafayette. During the Revolution, Washington was known to have carried these pistols, and it is believed that he had them with him during important battles after Washington's death, the pistols were one of many items in his estate that were divided among his relatives, as he had no direct heirs. Over time, the pistols found their way into the hands of former president, Andrew Jackson. When the Marquis de Lafayette visited Jackson in 1826, he verified that the pistols were indeed the ones he had given to Washington during the revolution. After Jackson's death, the pistols were passed on to Lafayette's son, George Washington Lafayette. Eventually, they were sold at auction by Christie's in 2002, fetching a price of $1.98 million. Today, the pistols are in the collection of Fort Ligonia in Pennsylvania, where they continue to serve as a testament to the rich history of the United States. Pat Garrett's Colt Single Action Army used to kill Billy the Kid. The revolver used by lawman Pat Garrett to kill the notorious outlaw Billy the Kid, also known as William H. Bonnie, is a Colt Single Action Army model. Despite its plain appearance, the value of this gun lies in its history. There is evidence, in the form of a loan document or bill of sale from 1906, that Garrett claimed this was the gun he took from one of Billy the Kid's gang members, Billy Wilson, when he arrested him. This was the same gun Garrett was carrying when he shot Billy the Kid in July 1881. US the significance history. of this, this revolver has made it one of the most Billy famous the firearms in it's history, and it has only changed hands through private sales. However, in August 2021, it made its first appearance at a public auction. The estimate was $2 million to $3 million, but it ended up selling for a remarkable $6.03 million at Bonov's auction house, becoming the most expensive gun ever sold. Thanks for tuning into this video exploring the most expensive guns in history. These firearms are true works of art and hold a significant place in history. Their value is not just in the craftsmanship and rarity, but also in their provenance and the stories they hold. We hope you enjoyed this look at some of the world's most valuable guns. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on all of our new videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.